Hi everybody, it's Philly from Create and Create here. Today we are doing part two of making the Christmas dress for my six year old. We are going to be putting the buttons on the back and putting the skirt on and then doing a big reveal. Come and have a look. Okay, so so far we have the bodice. Ta -da! With long sleeves, elasticated um, wrists and then it's going to do up at the back. I went to Hobbycraft um, after church today and I bought these little dog buttons. Oh, they're so cute. They were £1.50? No, £1.90. £1.90 for those. So I thought they would go really nicely with the dog fabric. So I thought that was gonna look really cute. Uh, what we are going to do now though is make the skirt. So I've actually gone a little bit more than double her waist circumference because I would like the skirt to be really nice and full. So, and also, cause I had, I bought two meters of fabric and I had about 50 centimeters left on the bottom and I thought, oh, I'm never gonna use it. I'm, it's just gonna go to waste otherwise. So I put that in the um, skirt as well. So I'm going to attach the two skirt pieces together down the seam and then we're going to um, gather it to the right length of the right width of the bodice. onto the gathering at the top. So we've got this great big, ready, whoop, massive skirt. So what I need to do is to do a really long running stitch all the way along the top and then I pull it to gather it all up. My sewing machine goes to, there we go, I'm putting it on the longest stitch and making sure it's nice and loose. The idea is that you don't back stitch at the very beginning or at the very end because you just need one long stitch to go with it in order to gather it all together. It will make sense, I promise. gathered skirt. Now I'm going to put it onto the bodice. So I'm going to pin right side and right side together and really really hope that it matches up nicely. I is hoping. Right, which is the good side? There we go. So I'm going to pin one to the other, and then we're going to do a stitch all along. Ta-da! Skirt! I 
the dress. We have not done it up at the back yet, but that's okay. We are going to turn it inside out and go from where the bodice stops. We're going to sew from there down the skirt. And then hem it at the bottom as well. And then we've just got buttons and buttonholes to go. <laughs> on the back. So I'm going to put the button holes on this side and then I'm going to put the buttons on that side. I, yeah, that feels right. Um, I'm going to put one at the top and I'm going to put one at the middle because I've closed it quite high up on the um, band here. I think it only needs two really to keep it shut. Uh, I can't remember what it says in the instructions as to how many and someone's run off with the iPad to go and play Minecraft on it. So I can't even look it up <laughs> even if I wanted to. Um, so like I say, I'm going to do one buttonhole there, one buttonhole there, and then that should be enough. And then pop the buttons on. For anyone who is as afraid of buttonholes as I am, universal button foot, my friends. Ah, oh, amazing. My, um, it did take me a little while to get it, to work it out. And I wasn't even sure that you could use it with like novelty buttons, but I've had a test run. Where's my test run? Um, please hold. I had a test run, which was this dodgy looking fella. Um, and it seems to fit okay. Where's the other button to go through? So because of the size of his head, he was quite big, but he goes through just really nicely. So I would always recommend doing a trial run, especially on just like a little scrap of fabric. It's gonna be so cute. I'm pretty convinced she's happy with it. I love those little dog buttons. Aren't they the cutest? Oh, bless her. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've got three more Christmas outfits to go yet. So I've got a dress for me, dress for the nine-year-old, and a shirt for hubby. So I'm going to be doing videos on those for the next um, couple of days coming up and maybe some other bits in between, like um, day in the lives. And I've got a sewing project for the dog. I've got like, so much going on. I don't know where I'm going to fit Christmas in, to be honest. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.